Hey guys, this is Mike Cricket 113 and uh, today we have the uh, a new radio in my uh, arsenal. It's a uh, HT radio. Uh, it's the uh, Baofeng UV9S. Uh, I picked this up on Amazon the other day and uh, it was $33 and change. Uh, who could be without? It's a tri-band radio. So it allows you to do the, uh, the two meter band the 1.25 meter band, which is the 220, and the 70, 77 meters. So you could program your repeaters, you could talk simplex, and uh, whatnot. So I'm using the uh, stock antenna right now. Uh, reason being is I purchased this uh, Nagoya NA320A, which is uh, claims that it's a, uh, a tri band antenna. So as you can see there, it says uh, quarter wave on uh, two meter half wave on 220 and 5 eighths on 440. So when I got the radio, I programmed it with Chirp and uh, plugged the, or screwed the antenna in and uh, nothing was working. <clears throat> I thought I was messing up uh, Chirp because I want to tell you, like I said, this is the, uh, let me get the box here for you. This is the UV uh, 9S, right? And uh, that's the box there. Actually, it doesn't even see them say the model number in the box, which is interesting, but um, most of them do. Um, but anyway, uh, so when you go to program this through Chirp, <clears throat> or you can do it manually, of course, uh, see the second from the bottom, it says Radio Diddy UV5RX3. Okay, that's what you want to use when you go into Chirp. Uh, to program the radio, that's what you need to choose. Uh, because there is no Baofeng UV uh, 9S in there. So as you can see at the tail of that, I put UV 9S red because uh, obviously I got the red model. But um, yeah, so that's one thing you want to make sure when you go in to program this through Chirp that you got to pick that uh, radio, Radio Diddy UV. Uh, 5R X3. So, so I thought I was having issues uh, with Chirp, but no, it was this antenna. It was the antenna. So I put the uh, the stock uh, antenna on there. This is a 220 antenna. They provide you in the box, and then they also do I have it in here? No, I do not. Oh, there it is. All right. They also whoops. They also provide you with a uh, a dual band. Uh, antenna as well. Um, this is the, I don't know if you can see that. No, it's having trouble focusing, but this is the, uh, the two meter 440, uh, antenna. So, uh, so I'm pretty, uh, I'm upset about the, uh, the tri-band antenna. I mean, it is a long one, as you can tell. So, and it's a little heavy. It's kind of like the, uh, the same kind of structure integrity, I guess, as the, uh, Nagoya NA771, which I reviewed on another video, uh, just look back for that, but, um, I'm gonna maybe put this antenna on an analyzer and see if it really, uh, is there any issues with it or whatnot, and then if there is, I'm probably gonna return it and get my money back, because, uh, you know, 1998 or whatever to spend on a Nagoya antenna, you know, some people would say it's, it's just a drop in the bucket, but, uh, you know, money's tight right now, so, with everybody, so, uh, in this economy, so, you know, especially if you get something that's not working, you should probably return it or whatever, but, uh, yeah, so that's it, um, I'm pretty happy with it so far, I've only used it for about, uh, three minutes or so at a QSO with a friend of mine, Barry, uh, on my local repeater, and, uh, but otherwise, I'm pretty, pretty excited about it, uh, gonna experiment a little bit more with it and maybe look into uh, uh, maybe another uh, tri-band antenna by another maker maybe and uh, see see about that um, what else can I say um, so yeah it's just pretty new right now and uh, you know so I really haven't used it too much we'll do some more experimentation uh, I also purchased it because it was a good backup uh, radio to have for my uh, my BF F8 HP so you know 
Balfang radios are cheap and uh, fun to play with and use as uh, amateur radio operators. Uh, yes, you need a license to, uh, to broadcast or to transmit on these radios. Um, and uh, just to... Oh, there's the... Uh, repeater. The repeater came up, identify, identifying itself. And uh, there you go, AA3BI. Um, you do need a license, and uh, you're not supposed to use these radios, just so you know, on, uh, on FRS or uh, GMRS. Um, they're not compliant, uh, which I've mentioned before. But anyway, this is the... Uh, this is the uh, the UV uh, 9S. Here it is. There's the red one. So uh, it's got your clip, your lanyard, uh, smaller battery. It's not the bigger battery, but uh, you can you can buy bigger batteries. But uh, we'll uh, we'll test it out and see how it is, and I'll uh, I'll make a review on it maybe in a couple weeks or so to see uh, see how I like it. But just wanted to show you that. So this is Mike Cricket 113. Uh, talking about the uh, UV9S. Hope you're having a good one. Stay safe and God bless.